So you're thinking about moving from New York to Rhode Island? Well, in today's video, I want to talk about my personal experience making that move. So where did this all start for me? Well, I lived in upstate New York. No, I did not live in New York, New York. Oftentimes people would ask me, oh, you're from New York. What street do you live on? No, I lived in upstate New York, a very quiet setting, a very rural setting. And what I loved about that setting was it was such a small knit community. I mean, everybody knew everybody, which could have its pros and cons. I was really able to establish uh, really, really good friendships there. The schools were, were small. Your, the teaching style was great because it was one-on-one -on -one and the classrooms weren't big. And I really enjoyed that experience. And I played hockey there. Uh, hockey and golf were my two main sports. I played golf every, every day, probably 18 to 36 holes a day. I played a lot of golf. And then in the winter, I played hockey. So we that kind of part of the state and in the country, hockey's a really big thing. So that's what I loved about being there. I was able to play and do the things that I love to do while being able to do it with all of my friends. Fast forward to college, I ended up getting accepted at the University of Rhode Island and played hockey there and academically to study supply chain management and entrepreneurship. So that's how I got to the state of Rhode Island. When I first got to the state, I knew nothing about Rhode Island. I was actually able to live with a friend of mine that I met at my previous college in New York. I went to Elmira College first then I went to the University of Rhode Island and I ended up staying in Newport and Rhode Island was a place I had never been. And my friend talked to me about it and said, Devin, you have to come live with me and my parents. You will fall in love with Rhode Island. And I remember the very first time I got to the state, I, I was actually surprised and blown away at just the landscape that Rhode Island offered. I, I'd never been here. It's the smallest state in the U.S. And when I got here, we came over the Newport Bridge. And I remember thinking to myself, I have never seen homes like this. I've never seen views like this. And I was in a little bit of awe. Here I am coming from upstate New York. There's no water around me. It's usually gray 90% of the year. And here I am in Newport, Rhode Island with stunning water views, scenic Newport mansions, and it was a culture shock for me. So as I was attending the University of Rhode Island, I, my hockey coach, his family owned some restaurants in Newport, and I began working for their family and bartending right downtown. One of the more popular bars was the Pelham, and I ended up working the door there, doing security bar backing, and eventually I went to bar bartending because that's where I saw all the money being made. I was like, I wanna do that. And so throughout my years of college, that's what allowed me to work and pay for my expenses while I was at school. But I ended up staying. And why did I end up staying? Well, I ended up staying because I fell in love with the lifestyle that Newport offered. It was quaint, the scenic landscape was beautiful, and I really felt in my in my core that I could raise a family here. You know, everything was easily accessible. You could get to major metropolitan cities like New York and Boston, but also you could travel pretty easy, easily through the state of Rhode Island. Now, to, to my point, I just recently came back from Nashville and South Carolina. And one thing I found from that trip was that I didn't wanna be landlocked. I felt like I was a little claustrophobic. I couldn't see the water. And that's what reminded me of why I fell in love with Rhode Island and the views and the, and the scenic landscape that Rhode Island had to offer. So I fell in love with it. I wanted to stay. I had built friendships with many people. It was a close knit community. Plus the options that you have for shopping and restaurants, all of it was so convenient. It felt like it made life very easy. Like many, I have fallen in love with Rhode Island. And if you're looking to potentially join me here in the Ocean State, reach out. All of my contact information will appear on the screen and we can talk about the pros and the cons and things that I love about this place and it may be a good fit for you. So if you're looking to make that move from New York, don't hesitate to reach out.